Following the announcement by the Electoral Commission of Zambia to restrict the number of foreign dignitaries coming to observe the 12th August general elections in Zambia have raised many concerns. Others have welcomed the move while others have condemned it, stating that restricting foreign observers will give the undue perception that ACZ is trying to hide something and will only strengthen the arguments of those who wish to portray the upcoming general elections as already rigged. Among them is the Patriot for Economic Progress Party leader Sean Tembo, who thinks that if ECZ was to proceed to restrict foreign observers using the same excuse that President Yoweri Seven of Uganda used, the international community would possibly draw the conclusion that Zambia's general elections are as fraudulent as those of Uganda. On this matter is that uh, we believe that it is important for foreign observers to actually monitor the upcoming polls so that uh, we can have credibility because uh, we must not forget that we're just coming from elections which were taking place in Uganda where foreign observers were prevented from being able to monitor elections using the same excuse of COVID-19. And so if we did the same here in Zambia, people would uh, generally draw a parallel between Uganda and Zambia. And we want to argue that Zambia's democracy, despite its many challenges, is much more vibrant than Uganda's. Uh, we've heard about uh, five peaceful transfers of power in Zambia compared to uh, none in Uganda. And uh, so we wish to uh, appeal to the Electoral Commission of Zambia to ensure that uh, foreign observers are allowed to monitor this year's elections. Thank you. Mr. Tembo adds that the Electoral Commission of Zambia has an opportunity in this instance to show the region and the international community at large that Zambia's democracy is more vibrant than that of Uganda by allowing foreign observers to do their jobs unrestricted. He further notes that there are no existing travel restrictions to Zambia for foreigners coming to conduct different types of business. So why should there be a travel restriction, especially for foreigners coming to monitor the 12th August general elections. Margaret Chota, Movie TV News in Lusaka.